Um, subject is a this one's zombie and at Yahoo. Subject is NXT in your house brutal commentary. Hmm. Thank you to the best podcast in the industry. Take another question from me. Uh, more like thank you, Disco. Uh, what other? What did you guys think of the commentary during the intros of the opening match and the this is awesome champ before the ladies even locked up? To me, it sounds like Beth Phoenix and Mora are so scripted it hurts badly. Thank you for your thoughts and keeping one hundred every week, Eric from Sacramento, bro. Excuse me, Eric from Sacramento, bro. That's what he puts BR All on. All right. You can see that. Um, I did not notice that about Moro. Uh, I did notice the, the, the one thing I can't stand. Bro, if you're going to – you got Hunter, Terry, Shawn Michaels. You got all these guys there running the show. B- 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 Road Dog. Bro, why can't they tell these the, – the, 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 the wrestling – the kids they're putting in the crowd to act like traditional wrestling fans? Like, shoot, you're the baby face and boo the heel instead of doing the this is awesome and say, you know, like, like acting like idiots? Well, they're well, acting like it? fans themselves. They're trying to get on TV and trying to get noticed. And that is how I mean? the NXT fans act. So they're acting like they're acting yeah, like you know. That's, you know how they're that's, acting. But like, listen to this. You'll understand real quick when I tell you this one. Remember how KG acted when he was in Lucha Underground? Yeah, exactly. Like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, everybody, I'm here. Everybody, look, look, yeah. look, look. I've yeah. never seen that. Yeah. Well, it's but the first time they're getting on TV, pretty much, isn't it? Yeah. Because they've not you know, the first probably... time, but yeah. They well, no, but these are a lot of people that haven't been on the. They're down there and haven't been on the shows but yet. There are some know? that have because I've seen some like I oh, saw yeah? one Lacey, Lacey, not Lacey Evans. What's her name? What, what name did they give her? The black girl with the braids. I forgot her fucking uh, name. Uh, yeah. You know, okay. it's not it's not really popular to say it. But uh, I'm not really a big Morrow fan. Like I liked NXT before he came in and was doing the. Yeah, I like Morrow. I I, 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 like, I, bro, I tell you what I like. I like Morrow doing crosses matches. He puts him over like a million yeah. bucks. It, I uh, saw. I definitely I'm like a that. Big, so. I, I like Morrow. It's like someone tweeted last night, and I saw it and completely agree with it. it, it like his excitement level starts out so high that there's nowhere for it to go. It's just constantly yell, yell, yell. You know, well, I like just... that way better than the shit that they, the guys from around. Hey, what do you think? What do you, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah how are you hey, doing? Man. Like, uh, you know, guys having just a conversation. He's, he's the only guy fucking bringing emotion, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like him. Everybody yeah, else is very laid back. Everybody's like, you know what I'm saying? Even Samoa Joe, he doesn't really, he, and I like Samoa Joe, but he doesn't really, really get into it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I like he should Samoa. Be, Samoa Joe should, should we, after the show, with Samoa Joe on commentary, Samoa Joe should have said a few things on the show that are very controversial that people retweet and talk about. That's what that's what he should be doing on that show. He's being too politically he correct. Re- he think. replaced Lawler, right? Yeah, but he should be he should be way more. You know, I, I'd be I'd be he should bury guys more. You know, like bury their work or something. There's some some get you know. Yeah, have some sort of fucking like be know, a bully. Like, like, yeah, you know? like have some like, like Ventura like me on. Like you and me on this show, you know, we'll yeah. always fuck go back and forth to make it exciting. But if you and me are always sucking each other's nuts and fucking agreeing on everything, this would be a very boring show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This would be so the if creative Joe, control if Joe does network. Hear this, <laughs> if Joe does hear this, if this gets back to him, just, bro, just start, you know, push the pencil a little bit, right? Uh, and I would like so to next- bring this up real quick. I would like to always give credit to Joe because he somehow, some way, brought a glass bong about this big. And he brought it all the way from California to Nashville, Tennessee back in the day. So I oh. salute you, sir. <laughs> I want to get hot here a little bit. I forgot something. Go ahead. Get hot. I like what yeah, you I get got hot. A, I, got a, I got a tweet from I like Black Man, the guy. From, from at Black Man USA. Yeah. Um, you know him on Twitter, right, Joe? Did you I, see the tweet, Joe? I saw the tweet, yeah. Okay. What a, can you explain? Why don't you, why don't you re- reiterate what the tweet said? Well, the tweet, uh, he, he, he snitched on me. Right. Uh, let me get the exact tweet, but he was he said, uh, just so you know, heads up, you know, Joe was uh, talking about the disco popping on the Raven effect. No, 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 no. Is that what That's not how he said the tweet. He said, Joe is burying you. That's not on the Raven podcast. That's not. I believe accurate. it was the exact words. You were, you were, uh, you were burying me on the Raven podcast. Okay. Well, well, so exactly what did you say? How that's, that go? That's a, that's an exaggeration and an untruth. The only Raven was talking about being a ventriloquist, and I think he said something about getting his own puppet. And I said, "Did you know about the disco puppet on the Russo brand?" And he had never heard of it, so, so I showed him the picture. That was it. No burial. What did, the, what did Raven think of the disco puppet? Uh, he thought the nose was was very funny. He laughed. Okay, about so the nose. Let's, so so you used that, you showed it that, and then he then made a joke. About me, so you participated in an in a, something to insult me 
uh, on the Raven Podcast. I, I, I thought I was just plugging your shows on the Russo brand. That was my intention, was just, you know, drawing <laughs> attention to the, to the Russo Joe, you, shows. Joe, let's break the tie here, Conan. Do you, what do you think Joe's intention How does plugging – well, you know how this is going to go, but how does, <laughs> how does plugging a disco puppet plug his show? So, right. Because I, I thought that would generate interest. People would go, "Oh, the disco, the disco puppet. That sounds interesting. Let me go check that out." You know, that's the disco puppet funny. isn't on the show. though. It's on the Russo show. Yeah, I was plugging your uh, show on the Patreon, Russo's Patreon, trying to send some uh, subscribers. You guys would. No, 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 you were just no, no, you and Raven were making Raven. fun of me. Yeah, you and Raven were making fun of me. I so would never build, do build, that. Build, at some point today, we're, we're going to have the disco list later in the show today, so uh, yeah. there will be a rep. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to find and I'm going to find that audio as well to to uh, exonerate myself. 